What's up guys, welcome to Apex. Thanks for tuning in. In today's video, we are going to take a look at the brand new reminder application straight from One UI 8. The new reminder app is a complete overhaul. Samsung has made a lot of changes on the reminder app. It's more streamlined now. We are going to take a look at the new version and we'll compare it with the older version. Before we go ahead, a big shout out to Theodism on X who has shared some screenshots and video recording of the new reminder application and he has also shared the APK. And I have installed the APK on this S24 Ultra here and on the right hand side the Galaxy S25 Ultra has the uh, current version on the One UI 7. Let's go ahead and open the application here. As you can see it is a complete overhaul. You got many different tabs right here on the top and here we have got just a couple of tabs on top and we have got the past reminders and the current reminders which are coming up in the future. And we can actually swipe down here uh, for a one-handed usage, but that is not currently available here. Maybe uh, it's still the APK, it's still the uh, beta version. So maybe Samsung will add that one-hand usage convenience also when we swipe down. So currently I can't swipe this down, but you can see we have got all these categories right here on the top and then we have got more categories here and then we have past reminders and then we have got the current reminders. Now the big change that you're noticing here is there is no hamburger menu. Like you can see the current version, we have got the hamburger menu here and we have got the uh, ellipsis here and search button here. Whereas on the One UI 8 version, we have the search button and ellipsis here, but there is no hamburger menu here. Now let me show you what they have done here. When we tap on this hamburger menu, you get to see all these categories here. Today, scheduled, important place, no alert, etc. All this has been put on the home page itself on the Reminder app. As you can see, it's all there right here on the top. We don't really have to tap on this button again to get into this. We've got everything organized right here very neatly on the top. We've got today's scheduled, important place, no alert, completed reminders. And then we have got the categories here. Whereas on the current version, we have to tap on this all category button and access all this. I have created some of these here. You can see AB, purple, family, category one and all that. All that is right here. If you create new categories, it will be right here on the home page itself for a quick access. There is no multiple steps to access these. That's a big change that we have. So everything available on one single page, no tapping on multiple buttons or you know uh, going to different settings. We have got everything available right here on the home screen. And if you think this is too much of a clutter on your screen, then you can actually minimize it. You can tap on this arrow button to shrink that and uh, if you want to expand it, you can press on that again to expand these categories here. As you can see, it's pretty simple. Expand it here and tap on the same arrow to shrink it. That is very thoughtfully done. And uh, if you scroll all the way down, you'll also see some suggestions here. As you can see, we have got a list of uh, try these out. We've got workout schedule. If we tap on this, as you can see, uh, already a schedule is created. We can try it out. We can customize this if we want. This is something like preset modes and routine suggestions. You can just use the preset and uh, further customize it. Uh, we've got a pickup reminder here, as you can see. Uh, we've got a location selected here. Home location is selected. It says when I leave here, you can select home, car, or current location, and you can also change the settings. So you can further tweak it. Uh, it's nice to have these presets here. Let's see what else we have got. Uh, we've got reminder for when you get home, and we have got a monthly payment reminder here. So using these, we can create our own reminders, further customize them, or you can uh, create something from scratch. So it's definitely more comprehensive compared to the previous reminder app that we have. That is the first big change. Now let's talk about the second big change. Now how do we add reminders on the current version? We have got this add reminder bar here, or we can tap on plus button here. Now when we tap on plus button, it takes into this page, which is more detailed. We have got title, time, place, and my reminders. Whereas if you tap on this text box here, you get some suggestions here. And we have got calendar icon here and location icon here. So we have got two options here. And if you want to add this specific reminder to a category, then you will have to tap on the plus button and then you can select the category here. When I tap on my reminders, then I get the categories to select a specific category to uh, feed that reminder into that specific category. Now that's how we do it. Now let me show you on the newer version. We've got plus button here and add reminder button. I can tap either of it. When I tap on this text box, it will take me to the same page. And when I tap on plus button, it is the same thing over here. We don't have separate options like plus button here, which will take me to this and uh, add reminder button which uh, where we can add the reminder here. So here, what happens is, instead of just calendar and the location option, we have got more options here. We have got calendar and location by default, and we also have this button here. This is 
add checklist. I can select this to add the checklist here as you can see. I can say groceries. I'll add milk, batteries. Like this we can actually add the checklist and uh, if you want to select a date you can tap on select date here and the date will appear right here at the bottom of the screen. You can choose the date. You can select whether you want to repeat it or don't repeat it. You can tap on this. It will show up right here. And uh, if you're selecting a date, again, the date page will uh, come right here. And if you're selecting time, you can tap on set time here. You can select the time here on this pop-up itself. So everything is available right here at the bottom of the screen. Whereas if you want to change the date here on the current version, you can tap on this calendar. You will get these options here, three days from now, one week from now, uh, from now and we got add preset. You can tap on plus to go to this page and you can change the time also here. Now this is actually cumbersome, it is not easy, there are multiple steps involved and if you go with plus button here, you can change the date and time here, you can see this is the page that you get and for don't repeat option again it will take you to the next page and if you are setting the time, you will have to set the time here. So all this is not so organized whereas here it's all available right here at the bottom of the page. Now even the location can be selected here, you can see we can pick a location here and we have got this uh, camera icon on here by tapping on which you can select all the screenshots that you're taken or any images that you want to attach uh, that can be done here let me just attach this image just for the sake of this video you see I just attached an image and this option here you see this is categories now when I tap on this I get to see all the categories which I've already created and I can just select the one that I want to add this reminder to that specific category so as simple as that so we have got categories gallery option location calendar and checklist everything here. So there is no going back and forth on different pages, very easily accessible right here at the bottom which is just perfect. Once done, just tap on this check mark here and the reminder has been saved right here. It is showing up right here at the bottom and you can also see the animation here which looks pretty cool. Uh, it just it just shrinks when I swipe up here and when I swipe down here it expands which looks pretty cool. Now we've got some changes on this ellipsis button also. Let me tap on this. Some of the options from the menu has been added right here like manage categories, recycle bin, and sort by select sync now settings all these options are from other menu options which we have in the current version of reminder application are available right here so what this means is we don't have hamburger menu and on top of it you have to go to settings to access the settings and then tap on three dot button for the rest of the options here it's very simple we just have one button here ellipsis tap on settings if you want to go to the settings we have got all the other settings right here and if you want other uh, more options you have got right here on this ellipsis button itself so it's very well streamlined application and it's actually more practical and i would really hope samsung works on the rest of the applications also and streamlines them like samsung calendar samsung clock etc let's not have multiple pages let's have easy access to all the settings menus categories options and everything like how we have now on this brand new reminder application so this is what has changed Changed on reminder application on One UI 8. Let me know what do you think about this. Share your thoughts in the comment section. And while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel and do not forget to download our wallpaper application Wallverse. There are some amazing wallpapers on the application, both free and premium. Go ahead, download it. The link is in the description. And yeah, do not forget to hit the like button. I would really appreciate that. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I'll see you in the next one soon. Cheers. Bye bye.